here we go. Um, one of the councillors, I'm not going to give names tonight because um, it takes too much time, but one of the councillors um, said that she considered the matter of what was discussed in your extraordinary meeting and Old Mill Road corridor a blank slate, as if it's some type of clean slate. Um, well, I'm sorry, it's not a clean slate. It's a slate full of information on the development processes, planning law, previous North Somerset Council agreements, government guidelines, previous agreements for mixed use development, infrastructure promises and failures during the last mass development in Porter's Head over the last 10 years, and residential allocation, as well as much more. Wiping a slate clean doesn't eradicate the problems from before. Um, so contrary to what the resident said last uh, at the meeting, um, we can't move forward unless we're sure everybody involved is aware of what's happened before. And moving forward is just usually an excuse for let's, let's look at this as a, in a fresh eyes. You've got to know what's gone on. Um, if you're as a town council are inadequately, inadequately prepared with the history of Old Mill Road and what has happened before, including the corridor leading to the marina and permitted development, not to mention full awareness of the members already on that partnership group that you have voted to become partners of, town council will be woefully unable to support the current businesses and residents they will be unable to fulfil the current town council resolution in place not to support significant development without adequate infrastructure, nor challenge the development plans of Aberdeen Standard Investment. And by plans, I mean their forecasts, their visions and their aims. So please don't say and tell residents there are no plans. There are always plans. They may not be the formal plans, but believe me, they will be already preparing what is happening. And for you to be naive about that, I'm afraid, will put Porter's Head um, in a really bad place with regard to what happens. So my advice, very respectfully, is watch the past videos of GL Hearn and what was discussed last time. Read all the documents, understand what has happened and what may happen next time. Because if you don't, you will not represent the electorate as we expect you to represent them. And I'm talking to town and district councillors who may be present as well. And presumably, you will need to represent what people in Porter's Head need and want. And the only way you're going to find that out is a consultation process. And I'm assuming, and perhaps you can answer that um, afterwards, whether there is going to be a consultation process so you can find that information out. Um, mm -hmm. But as I've put um, out, um, certainly um, on videos, this is not child's play. It's a really serious matter. Um, and to, for Councillor Gardner to say last week that, you know, you're going to represent the electorate, it's more than that. You can't just sit there and expect just to represent the views of the residents. You've got to be in a position to challenge, to ask questions, to demand information. So it's not a case of just sitting back. And that's what slightly worried me about the meeting. It was the tone um, that you were using as if it was some sort of um, happy clappy exercise. It's not, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. And you need to be aware of that. And then one of the councillors said that, oh, she didn't know who was actually in the meeting last week, which is one of the drawbacks about having virtual meetings, um, trying to keep an eye on who's coming into the meeting. You just don't have that face-to-face -face contact, which is another plus for having face-to-face -face meetings again. But what was really important is town council feel that they are now partners. We still don't know really what that word means. Um, with North Somerset Council, who clearly wants the development to go ahead from Andrew uh, Alex Hearn's uh, presentation. He didn't include residential, um, which is the big elephant in the room. And the uh, standard Aberdeen Standard Investments, um, there were representatives of that company watching the meeting. I'm not even sure some of you councillors were aware of that. Um, and the steering group is a concern to me because I'd like to know